Y'all, I have been teasing this bucket hat for the last two videos and I'm finally sharing it with you today. I've noticed that the bucket hat has been coming back into style lately and it's just taken me back to my teenage years when bucket hats were in style before and I loved that style of hat. I actually had a bucket hat. It was very tight on my head because I've always had a kind of large head and actually that's one of the reasons I wanted to make this pattern because I have a really hard time finding hats. My head is, is quite large. Hats are always way too tight on me. So I thought a bucket hat is probably pretty straightforward to put together and I can size it exactly for my head. I actually ended up making two versions of this hat because while I was designing it, I was kind of experimenting with the brim style and I ended up designing not only just a 90s style bucket hat, but also more of a gardening hat with a wider, more horizontal brim. So I've included both of those options in the pattern that you can find at the link in my description. And you can get this pattern for free by signing up for my email list. You'll get a $5 off coupon that you can use on any of the patterns, but you can use it to get this pattern for free if you'd like. And if you're already on my email list, be sure to check your inbox because I did just send out an email with a special coupon code for this hat in case you've already used that $5 off coupon previously when you signed up because I got to show some love to my existing email subscribers as well. So I did provide a multi-size pattern. There are three sizes for this hat pattern. The large size is my size and then I've got a medium and a small and each size I would say is more of an adult size hat pattern. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy the pattern and let's just get started on the tutorial. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is sew the ends of the hat side and the brim together. So I'll just fold these in half right sides together and sew the ends together with a quarter inch seam allowance. And then I'll do the same thing for the brim. This is the longer curved piece here, right sides together, sew the end together. And then I will first sew the side of the hat to the top, which is the circular piece here. And then I will sew the brim to the side of the hat. And I did a quarter inch seam allowance on this because it'll just be a little easier to get that, get those pieces together around the curved edges. And I'll just position the pieces all the way around after I've sewn the ends together with pins. And I'm gonna use pins pretty generous, generous, generously. I'm gonna use pins pretty generously here. And I don't know why that feels so weird to say, generously. Anyway, I'll pin all the way around the hat, sew it on, and then I'm gonna try this on. I just cut out the exterior pieces to start because this is my first time drafting a hat pattern and I wanna make sure it fits and there might be some adjustments that I need to make. All right, so I've got the base of the hat sewn to the top of the hat and it fits, but I have a sneaking suspicion that it's gonna to be too shallow. So I kind of went a little deeper than I thought I needed to for this hat, and I actually need to go a little bit deeper. So um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and sew on the brim just to kind of get an idea of how that fits, but I may actually need to make this a little bit deeper. We'll see how it looks once I get the brim on. Okay, so a couple of things. First of all, I do think it needs to be a little deeper um, for this part of the hat. And the brim is pretty close, but I actually want the brim to kind of flare out, like up and out a little bit more and not so much down. Um, but I think it's not too far off. So I just basically need to go in and adjust the pattern. And then I also just wanna make the depth of the hat a little bit deeper. Also, this the brim of the hat will be interfaced, so it won't be so floppy. So that will also help it stand out a little bit, but I can just tell already that it does need to be a little bit more kind of horizontal, just a little bit more. So that's, that's the thinking there. All 
Okay, so attempt number two is much better. So now I'm just going to cut the same pieces out of the lining fabric, and I'm actually going to interface the brim for the lining fabric with some really heavy duty inter interfacing that I have. I'm not sure what the interfacing type is on this, I'm sorry, but it is very heavy weight. It's got an adhesive on one side. I don't know if you can see, it's a little shiny on one side and that's the adhesive side. So I'll cut the brim piece out of this as well and then attach that to the lining of the brim. Then I'll sew the lining pieces together in the same way that I did for the shell. And then I will attach those pieces right sides together around the perimeter of the brim. So I've set up both the exterior and the interior of the hat, made sure that the seam allowance of the brim was pressed toward the hat interior. And then the seam allowance at the top was pressed toward the crown. And I did that for both of the pieces. And I went around and just edge stitched the seam allowance to the hat uh, along the brim and along the top. And I originally was saying this was the lining. I kind of feel like this is the exterior now. But anyway, I've gone through and just done that edge stitching all the way around the edge there on both of those pieces. And you can see this one's a little bit more floppy because I didn't interface that side. So now I just want to put these two pieces right sides together and align all of the seams. And then I'm just gonna stitch around the perimeter of the brim. And when I stitch around the perimeter of this hat, I'm just gonna leave a little opening along the edge, maybe about, I don't know, two to three inches for turning the hat. And then I will stitch that close later. And here is how it is looking. I'm actually quite pleased with how this hat fits. I actually am thinking I might do another version that has a brim that's not as horizontal. I feel like I maybe went a little too horizontal even though I really like the style of this. Um, I may have another option that goes a little bit more kind of in between where I was before and this so that I kind of get that 90s bucket hat style. But this is kind of more of a like I don't know, gardening hat maybe, <laughs> but I do like this a lot actually. And this is very similar in style to some of the like straw hats that I have over here. So this is how they look when I wear them as well. And I really like those. Now I just need to go around and top stitch around the entire hat. I'm gonna do several rows of top stitching along the entire brim. And I'm gonna close up the little opening that I did for that first row of top stitching. I'm gonna do an edge stitch that's really close to the brim edge here. And then I'll just go around probably maybe a centimeter apart for several rows of top stitching to really finish off that brim and give it a more professional look. Okay, so I couldn't help myself and I made another version of this hat. This has a little bit kind of, what is the word I'm looking for? It slopes downward a little bit more. And I feel like this is more of that kind of 90s style bucket hat that I was really trying to go for. Um, so this is just the, just the exterior right now. I do have this interfaced for the brim and I'm actually going to 
go ahead and do a lining the same way that I did for the other hat and I'll finish it the same way. The only thing that I'm gonna change is I think for the lining, I'm actually gonna leave an opening in the side seam so that I can turn this right side out because that way um, the top stitching around the brim will be nice and even and I won't have kind of like a little bumpy spot where I turn the hat right side out. Um, so yeah, I'm very much, very happy with this version. And for the pattern, I'm actually gonna include both versions. So I actually really like the other version too, but I really wanted one like this. So I know that I'll wear both of them. So I'm gonna include a version for more of the like 90s style bucket hat like this. And then I'm also gonna have the version for the kind of like bigger floppier hat, kind of like a garden hat or like a fishing hat. Um, so yeah, that's what I'll do. And I'm gonna finish this hat and then I will do the big reveal. So I'll also point out a couple of things that I did differently between the two hats. So this is the first hat that I sewed and you can see I did some contrast stitching and you know, it was just really hard to get that stitching to look really, really nice for the contrast stitching. So for the second hat, I actually just did the stitching to match. So for my top thread, I had the green thread and then for my bobbin thread, I had the white thread. I also did some additional top stitching along the side seams of the side of the hat. So I did it on both sides of this and I had to piece this hat together because I was running out of fabric. So I just made sure to, instead of cut this on the fold, I cut two pieces and added a little bit of seam allowance where the fold was. And then the last thing I did was I added some vents to the hat. I was looking at some hats online and I saw that they had these little grommets in the top to act as vents so your head doesn't get too hot. So I just installed those about an inch away from the side seam, I uh, did two on each side. So I've got two on this side and then I also did two on this side and I think it just gives it a really nice professional look. This is also reversible just like this hat and very happy with both of these. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy this project and you'd like to see more from me, please be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell icon. That way you'll be notified when I release new videos in the future. You can also leave me a comment below and give me a thumbs up and let me know what you thought about the video. The comments and the thumbs up, those actually really help the channel out a lot. And I really appreciate those. So thank you for that. So yeah, I think that's all I have for you today. I will see you in the next video. Bye.